Each month in America, there are sick and twisted individuals who purposely fake their own kidnappings in order to gain media fame or sympathy from a loved one. Ultimately, these people are found out by police and destroyed by the same media fame they sought to chase. Join us now for the series, Help, I Faked My Own Kidnapping. By now, I'm sure you have heard of some of the more infamous cases of people faking their own kidnappings, such as Sherry Pampini or Jennifer Wilbanks. But did you know that there are literally thousands of others who have made the same smashing impact on their family members, such as the 16 year old young lady named Carol Sanchez. Carol would carefully plan the date and time down to the last minute of her abduction using four men as accomplices to fool her mother and the New York City Police Department. Carol would settle on a rainy Monday night walk with her mother near the corner of Eagle Avenue and East 156th Street, New York City. Carol would not only fake her own kidnapping, but ignite a manhood in the city of New York that would rival all of the cases for false suspects in history. But in this case, Ms. Sanchez would not be charged or sanctioned for her indiscretion. In a moment, we will play for you the actual fake kidnapping video as captured by city cameras. But first, why did Carol plan this falsehood? Was it for fame or because she wanted attention? The answer would be neither. Carol simply did this for two selfish reasons. The first was so that she could be with her boyfriend, a 23-year-old reputed Crips gang member who was once arrested for murder. And the second was because Carol had been upset of her mother's plans to uproot the family and go back home to her native country of Honduras. In a harrowing scene caught on surveillance video, two men hopped out of a beige sedan Acosta Carol Sanchez as she and her mom, Carmen, walked along Eagle Avenue in the Milrose around 11.20 p.m. that rainy Monday night. The mom, believing that the abduction to be true, frantically fought and tried to wrestle control of her daughter back from the men, but was aggressively shoved to the ground multiple times as those men forced Miss Sanchez into the vehicle. In that car were two additional men who sped off down East 156th Street. After the fake abduction, police flooded the area with patrolmen and vehicles in search of the team. They diligently made and hung missing persons posters and issued a statewide Amber Alert. Then the next afternoon, a mysterious phone call was placed to Carol's family in which a man said, we got the wrong girl. A short time later, around 2.15 p.m., Sanchez reappeared at the very intersection from which she'd vanished and walked over to two cops sitting in a squad car. One of the police officers said, We were looking at the missing person's poster saying, I hope she's okay. And then she walked right up to us. He said she was trembling while she was walking. She just looked really scared. She put her hands on her knees and she started talking to the police. Officers then jumped out of the vehicle and put her in. Sanchez was rushed to the 40th Precinct Station House, where she admitted to cops that she helped orchestrate her own abduction. We give you now the actual video of that fake abduction. Now to a stunning turn of events involving an Amber Alert for a 16-year-old girl, followed by an all-out search, and tonight, signs suggesting the whole thing was a hoax. CBS 2's Ali Bauman reports from Lot Haven in the Bronx. Carol, did you stage the kidnapping? 16-year-old Carol Sanchez walked out of the 40th Precinct Tuesday evening with the relatives who spent the day searching for her trailing behind. None of them said a word. Can you tell us what happened? Around 11.30 Monday night, Carol was with her mother on Eagle Avenue in Melrose when surveillance video shows four men in a car pull up, grab the teen, push her mother to the ground, then drive off. She kept screaming, my daughter, my daughter, oh my God, someone please help me. 
please, that she was screaming hysterically. The family lives in Dutchess County, but have been staying with relatives in the Bronx. In the morning, the NYPD put out an Amber Alert and plastered the neighborhood with missing person posters. Then, 15 hours after what looked like her abduction, Carol came back to the spot where she was taken and reunited with her relatives to their relief. She's fine. Thanks, God. She's fine. Sources tell CBS2 the teen turned herself into police on site and confessed that she orchestrated her own kidnapping with the help of four accomplices in an attempt to run away from her family. She was shaking up. She was bending over, grabbing her knees and discussing with the police. Police let the teenage girl go without charging her for any crimes. The NYPD says it's still investigating and is looking to speak with those accomplices. Outside the 40th precinct in the Mott Haven section of the Bronx, Allie Bauman, CBS2 News. Sanchez is not expected to face charges, but police were still looking to question the four men who were in the car, one of whom is believed to be her gangbanger boyfriend. That man's name is being withheld because he has not charged yet with a crime in this case, but he already has several prior arrests on his record, including one for murder and another for attempted murder. The Sanchez's live about 90 minutes north of the city in beautiful upstate Pockwock, New York, but were visiting relatives in the Bronx at the time. The teen and her family declined to comment as they left the station house that same afternoon.